Hi everyone, it's Christine here from christinestampandspot.blogspot.com and I am so excited to share my project with you today. Uh, this is a mini album that I created for Halloween and I used a tutorial by the fabulous Lori over at LM's Crafty Creations and I will post a link to her tutorial down um, in the description box of this video. I want to make sure that she gets full and complete credit for um, this album that I made because I used her page tutorial um, verbatim. So um, obviously I made it my own kind of design with papers and, and paper choices and things like that, but um, you'll see a lot of her album in mine and she deserves the credit because she is fabulous. So this is the cover and all of the papers in here are from Country Craft Creations from the October Craftology box. Um, and it is from Doodlebug and the design paper is called Booze and Brews. And it's this adorable paper line from Doodlebug. I definitely recommend Tamara's shop. It's again, it's called Country Craft Creations. It is a fabulous shop. And I will also link um, a link to that shop um, below in the description box of this video. So this is my album. It's a six by six mini album. And as you can see, mine is really, really, really chunky. I just hit the camera trying to show it all to you. Um, so if I could do it over again, I'd probably make the spine a little bit bigger and put a little bit bigger space in between my hinges because I added a lot of dimensionals and things like that um, to give the pages a little bit of extra dimension. And that of course causes your album to bulk up. So um, in the future, this is the first album I've ever made. So it's a learning curve, of course. And uh, so the next time I will try to do a little bit better. But I used all Stampin' Up! cardstock in making this album. Um, all the glitter paper that you will see, as you can see here on the cover, there's the silver glimmer paper. That's from Stampin' Up! as well. Um, so this is the first, the cover of the book. And as you can see, I used one of the decorative pages um, for the cover. And I just kind of trimmed it down. This bat is these bats are washi tape they're actually glittery i think the camera's picking that up um, and they were in the dollar spot at target believe it or not um, the flowers here and the centers to the flowers came in our kit from country craft creations the spider web here on the corner was cut from the big spider webs that stampin up sold last year um, which is really really cool um, i did a little pocket in the front and here are two tags that pull out that you can journal on and the little uh, trim that I tied at the top of the tags was also from the Target dollar spot. So you can get a lot of really great stuff there. Um, this is just a sticker from the sticker sheet. And um, the, this is a little popped up spider. It's a dimensional sticker that also came from our kit from Country Craft Creations. Here is the spine. And again, I added um, some glimmer paper to it as, as well as some um, purple cardstock from Stampin' Up. I also did um, some of those dimensional spider stickers on the spine. That was Lori's idea. I totally copied that from her. And then this is the back of my album. It's um, just, I just kept it very plain with some purple cardstock and then some glimmer paper and then a cute um, page from the paper collection. So let's go ahead and get started and let me open this up for you and we'll go inside. Okay, so this is the first page. This is the inside of the front cover, rather. I did get a couple extras to go with the collection that were not in our kit from Country Craft Creations, so I did get a separate set of stickers. And I just cut them, I placed them onto Stampin' Up's black cardstock, and then I cut them out and added some dimensionals on the bottom. So she kind of, if you can see here, she kind of sticks up just a little bit with the dimensionals. And I use Stampin' Up! dimensionals for anything I want to pop. I think they're fabulous. So um, here's another flower that came in our kit. And this is a, a pocket here with some cute designer paper on the back. And then these are just two little tags that I made. Um, this one, this ribbon was uh, from Michael's. Um, and then this, um, it's, you can't obviously feel it through the video, but it's very soft and velvety. Um, and that was from the kit from Tamara from Country Craft Creations. All my card mats are, um, or not card mats, I'm sorry, photo mats are just black on the back and some design paper on the front. And I inked around all of my design papers with, um, my Stampin' Up! sponge and Stampin' Up! Uh, basic black ink. This, um, jeweled center to the ribbon was also from Michael's. So let me stick this back in the pocket here and let's go to our first page. This little guy here was just from one of the cut aparts in the collection and this is a sticker and I added some of these really cute little um, 
gemstones that also came in our kit from Tamara. This opens up this way and this opens up this way. So we have little half pockets on either side and then this center here was purely a decorative little thing that I did but I did make this sticker on the bottom a um, pocket so you could stick little tags all along the bottom here and I just stuck one to the side here and there's a space on the back for some journaling and um, this little tag just came with our collection from our craftology box and this twine here is black twine from Stampin Up and I um, also added some more little gems here all the little stickers that you see are popped up on dimensionals and uh, were their stickers and they were stuck on black cardstock and then just cut out um, I like to do that as opposed to just sticking the stickers down because I can add the dimension and also it gives the sticker a little bit more weight so on either side of this page are just some little booklets where you can stick photo here, photo here, photo on the front, of course, and on the back. So that goes in here. And then let me show you the other side is the same. We have um, a side pocket and our little sticker and then just another booklet that's empty on the, in the inside and back so you can place photos in it. So stick that back in there. Each page also has a pullout for tags. This is what this one looks like. Um, and I just added a little trick or treat for a smaller photo here. And I added the little tabs came on the sticker sheet. So I just cut, put them on black cardstock, cut it out and use it as a little tab to pull it out with. And then the backs are just plain. So let me go ahead and stick this back in here on the side here. And these just go right in the side of your pages. Each page has one. Okay, so let's bring this up. This is the back of the front page. So we have a front, a pocket here on the front with just a photo mat. This is a sticker from the sticker sheet that I put on cardstock and cut out. So that's a pocket there. This is my favorite paper. It is so adorable. On each of the, um, in between each page, I also added some border stickers that also came on in, in the sticker collection. So you open this up and you have a place for a photo up top here. And then I'm gonna scooch this up and pull this down. And you have a place in the bottom for a photo as well. And then in the middle here, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet. This is just a very plain photo mat. It's just a piece of black cardstock. And then you have that cute paper that lines the inside of the pocket. So let's stick that back in. That closes like that, and then this closes down. And then let's come over here to this page. This is just a stick, this is a, a large pocket, and this is just a cut apart from one of the pages in the paper collection. Here's a tag that I created. Um, again, one of the cut aparts. I did another cute bow. The little rhinestone center here came from Michaels. Here's that pretty black velvety ribbon that's self-adhesive, which I loved that part, that I ran along the bottom and then it's plain on the back for a photo. So that just comes, sticks in here. And then this also, like I said, every page is going to have um, a, a side part, a side pocket rather for your um, tags. And in this one, I just, I put every sticker that was available on cardstock. And these are open on the side here. So you could actually slide photos underneath them. And I only had three of the tags that are here that came on the sticker sheet. So I just used my now retired Stampin' Up! tag punch for the other three pages. So there'd be something to help pull that out. Um, and I just cut it out or uh, punched it out rather with design paper. Okay, the next page, again, as I was trying to, to say, although I don't think I was saying it very clearly, I put every sticker that came on the sticker sheet in the collection on a piece of cardstock and then cut it out. And so these, like this, for example, says best time ever and it's open. So if I were to take, you know, a photograph, I could stick a photo under here and then you could just glue it down once you have your photo selected. The same with the little guy. So anytime you see a popped up sticker or what have you, I've only put dimensionals on one side. So it's all open on the other side. So you could easily stick a photograph right here. I hope that makes sense. So this opens up here and you can place a photo up here. And I just stuck a little splotch sticker up here. Then there's a place for a photo here. This is a spider sticker from the collection. I use the, I believe it's now retired, Stampin' Up, uh, or not Stampin' Up, I'm sorry, Martha Stewart Drippy Goo Punch. And so this opens up and there's another spot up here for photos up here. And this one says trick or treating, um, which is a sticker up here. And then this opens and this flap opens. 
so you could stick little photos here and here and then of course on the inside as well and then this is a large space for a photo and again these are all open on the sides all of these stickers are I love this little eyeball sticker right here I thought that was adorable and again I placed um border stickers in between all of my pages. So this is the next page. And as you can see, I used more Stampin' Up! Glimmer paper. I put some rhinestones that I got from Michaels as the eyes of the cat and the pumpkin. I stole that from Lori. This is some black um, glitter ribbon, which I got from Michaels. So this opens up and here's another side pocket with a, cu with a sticker uh, cut out that I popped on dimensionals. And this is just another little booklet for photos, plain on the inside and on the back. Over here, we have the middle section here. I use the drippy goo punch on the pocket. This is a sticker that I put on cardstock and, um, and uh, then cut out. Here's a little tag for a photo or a photo mat rather. And then this is just the lining of the pocket and I put a glitter, a orange glimmer um, ribbon also from Michaels. And then this little pumpkin charm came in our Craftology kit. I thought it was amazing how cool this ribbon matched the Stampin' Up! Glimmer paper and they're two different companies. I just thought that was really cool. That thrilled me. It's the little things, right, in crafting. Here's another tag and they're all plain so I won't bother pulling them all out. Here is the next page, and I'm so sorry, guys. I hope my camera is picking this up. This is the first time I've made an album, no less filmed an album, so bear with me, and if you have any suggestions, feel free in the comments to, to let me know how I could do this better. But here's a place for a photo here. Again, this is open, so you could slide a photograph under here if you wanted to. This opens up, and there's a place up top here for a photo. This sticker says memories to last a lifetime. And again, it's open, um, so you could stick a photo there. And then this has a pocket. So this is a photo mat here that pulls out. And then this is a pocket here, and there's some stickers that I've put on. Um, cardstock and then cut out and adhered with dimensionals and of course you can fit way more um, photo mats in your pockets than I did if you want to I just wanted to kind of give it a finished look so I just put a few in okay so here's our next page and there's these little photo mats here for smaller photos this is a pocket right here um, this sticker came from the sticker sheet I put it on cardstock and cut it out the spider tape right here or the spider element spider web element right here is actually more washi tape from the dollar spot at target here's another one of those cute puffy dimensional stickers that came in our kit from tamra's shop i uh, used more stampin up glimmer paper the silver and then here's just a little photo mat that says halloween party again you can stick a a photo under there so i didn't glue that all the way down and then just on the lining to the pocket is a um little spider web up here that's from an old martha stewart corner spider web punch and again you have your tag here in the side right here and i use the stampin up um tag punch right there so that slides back in there and then this is our next page and this one's really fun lori again lori designed all of these pages and um i just love her tutorial and i will link it for you below but it, this is so cute so you open here whoops you open here and you can place photos smaller photos here and here and i have some stickers that i have again cut out and i use some orange glimmer paper on these pages here's another spot for photos with the pumpkin sticker and then this is a pocket so this is just a pocket this is a photo mat and i put another one of those stickers here just a blank photo blank on the back and um, then this is of course the lining the, the circle paper is the lining to the um to the pocket all right on this side I used more of the drippy goo punch here so you can place some photos here. Here's a little um, ghost sticker and then here's some more of that um, border sticker that I put in between each page. So this opens like this. Another room for a picture here. Another room for a photograph here. I used more of that orange glimmer paper from Stampin' Up. Another room for a photo here. And then this is a belly band element. So these tags just slide right under and go right in to the to the page. And in our, you know, they're safely in place there. They're not going to go anywhere. And here's what the tags look like. This is just a cut apart from the paper collection. And that's just some designer paper. And again, they're just blank on the back. So those slide right in there really, really snugly. So those aren't going anywhere. And then there's just two stickers from the sticker collection. And again, here's a side tag. 
Okay, we're almost done here, folks. So here's um, one of the last pages. This is a cut apart from the, the collection. And this is just kind of a large spread. So it opens this way. You have a place for a photo here. I added a sticker. And then you have a large space here with a couple stickers that, again, are open so you can slide a photo under. Here's another page. This opens up like this. And there's a little pocket right here that's really, I love this design that Lori did. It's adorable. So up top here, let me show you up top first is a place for a photo up here. And I put a little sticker. And then here, this is a pocket and then a smaller pocket. So I used my Stampin' Up! tag topper, ornate tag topper punch, I think it's called, to create these two tags. They're just made from um, the paper that came in our kit. The black twine at the top is from Stampin' Up! And then I put a little piece of Whisper White cardstock on the back of each so you could write, you know, do a little bit of journaling back there. So those just go right here in this little pocket. Here's a little mummy sticker. He's adorable, I thought. And then here in this big pocket is a larger photo mat, which again, all of mine are just black on the back. So that closes like that. Here's your, your photo mat for the side that again, I'm not gonna bother to, to pull them out because they're plain. And then here is our last page in the album. Here's a little moon sticker that I cut out. This is a pocket, so this pulls out and you have your photo mat that slides back in. Then this opens up you have a large space here for a photo spread. Turn, and then on this side, you have a small place, place for a photo, another place for a photo, another place for a photo, sorry, I just hit the camera, and then um, a, another space and a large spread here in the middle. And I just thought this spread right here with the eyes and the spiders and the little people was so adorable. So that closes like that. And then finally, this is the back of the back cover. This is another one of the flowers that came in our kit from Country Craft Creations. Here's a little sticker that I did. I used more of the silver glimmer paper. Here's a photo mat that comes out. You've got the cute little potion bottle paper behind that. Then this opens. And over here is just a decorative element that I did with a cut apart from the collection. Same with here. I loved this, the periodic table of elements. I just thought that was so cute. So I left that alone for um, decorative purposes, but you could always do a, um, a picture there if you wanted to. And then this opens up and you can place a picture up top here. And again, I put a little sticker, more silver glimmer paper, and you can put a picture on the bottom. And then here is a pocket. And this ribbon came in our kit. It's really cute, it's from the Doodlebug collection. So did this little pumpkin charm. So I added that to the ribbon. And then this cute house is also on the front cover. And it's just a little cut apart that I mounted on purple cardstock from Stampin' Up, then the silver glimmer, and then the black. And it's black, blank on the back, so you can add a photograph there. And that just slides right back on in. So that is my very first mini album and again it's a little chunky um i wish that i had made it a little bigger i just went crazy with the dimension but there it is i hope that you enjoyed this video um and i hope you enjoy the mini album this is something i'm going to be working on a lot more i had so much fun doing it so i hope that you enjoyed it and again i will link you to Lori's tutorial in the description box of this video and also to tamra store country craft creations thanks so much for stopping by guys bye